What's up everybody? It's Monday. That's exciting. Um, today is going to be a good day of work. Um, a lot of stuff going on, which is exciting. So let's see. The weekend was pretty uh, much a bummer because I wasn't feeling good. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. It's uh, pretty early in the morning right now. I'm going to get to work today. Today, typically on Monday mornings, I don't like to just jump right into emails and work and things. I just like to get really strategic about what I'm going to do in the week. A lot of times I'll do this on Sundays, um, but it's super important. I didn't do it yesterday. I was just working away yesterday. Jeez, my eye. Something's in my eye. Um, so when I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do this week, I have kind of the four different categories of things that I'm trying to focus and schedule out. So I have the thing that I start with on the top that I absolutely have to do every single week. I try and schedule four things that are not urgent, but important, right? So things that are like game changers for me in my business. If I get these four things done in the week, I typically feel like I have won the week type of a thing. So this week I'm finishing my Maverick Digital Marketing website, maverickdigitalmarketing.com. I got new t-shirts up there, which is really cool. Um, I don't know why I made those, but I was like, found some cool designs and made t-shirts if you want to check them out. Go do that. Then um, I have a training this week that I'm gonna record and get ready and uh, deliver on Thursday. It's for my book. Um, it's right here and I'm actually using this book, which is kind of cool, like for my, my planning and stuff. Um, so it's my 12 month planner, all finished up. Um, I was looking at the sales. Sales are not tremendous right now. I haven't done a push to my list yet, and that's going out today in the form of a podcast. And then um, that's the second thing. The third thing that I'm working on this week that I have to get done is I have to do tax prep. Um, that's not important. I'm sorry, not urgent, important. Um, we're still before tax time. And then the, the fourth thing that I'm going to do is build out the email campaigns for... Um, new client acquisition so that I'll have that set up. Um, it's an onboarding campaign that I'm going to work on running. If I can get those four things done, it's going to be awesome week. On top of that, I have all of the other stuff that I've got to do, which is client ac um, client work. I've got to write tons of email sequences. i got to do um, an email campaign for cl clients that we're sending out. we got to work on optimizing ads. We're going to start running ads again. Um, and scale up to probably about 1500 bucks a day for one client. Actually, probably more than that, we're running two campaigns at the same time, which is pretty cool. Um, and so just working a ton of stuff. Really excited about this week. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty stoked to see how this training goes. I think it's going to be super cool. I was actually looking at the trainings that I'm going to be doing to do client acquisition stuff. Um, and I have all my trainings planned out. I actually did that last night. So uh, it's about just almost 9 o'clock. I'm going to do a little bit of reading first. I like to do reading just a little bit before work. It helps me to just think about different things. The book I'm going to be reading. Where did it go? Where did it go? Mr. Seth Godin. Here's one of my bookshelves. Okay. I'm going to read this one. Actually, I was reading this book. Super, oops, this fell out. Super, super good book. Um, I love this one. Okay, but this is the one that I'm going to read right now. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to read for probably about 10 minutes. Get to work and start start grinding away. To okay, so um, just starting to build out campaigns. I have a meeting in an hour. Uh, that this book is so good. If you are a marketer, if you want to do <laughs> make change happen, Seth Godin, make change happen. Um, if you like marketing, check that out. Exciting news: Lily's uh, report card came. That's super cool. I'm gonna go tell her that her report card came. She does homeschool. Hello. Is it good? Really good. That's early. It's slipped through the six. Hey, bud. I don't know how they got your email. That's weird. I know. They got it somehow. Hey, dude. Ah! So how's <laughs> what was that noise? <gasps> Yay! Yeah! 
Tell her her grades in each section. So math, you have an A. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the day is shaping into a fine day. I'm getting tons of stuff done. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to go f do a live stream here in just a second. Well, I've got my iPad updating and my phone's charging. I use Switcher Studio for live streams. That lets me do multiple camera angles and also share my um, screen, which is awesome. Now, the thing that I had today was a client call for a new project, and I'm super duper excited about it. I think it's going to be awesome selling uh, info products. The, I think the big lesson that I learned last year was being confident about the work that we can do, the leads that we can generate is great, but when we're starting out, you have to test the offers. I can't stress it enough. If you're trying to get new clients and you're trying to do anything in general, setting expectations up front is super duper important. And so, especially when you're starting out with digital marketing, you need to have clear expectations that if your offer isn't proven and you don't know what your conversion rates are gonna be and you don't know how things are gonna go, you just, you can't uh, basically take, uh, you can't overpromise. You have to set realistic expectations. Even if you're in an industry where you're generating deals and, and offers, like you can't, um, you can't overpromise because offers vary. You, you think you're gonna make something that works out great, but the market is gonna be the one that determines. And you, I've created so many offers that I thought were gonna work out great, and I thought I had uh, a good understanding of what the market wanted and it just was something about the offer did not work out so even though we're able to gener generate leads it, it didn't work out so offers are what saves the day <laughs> you can't cover up a bad offer with good marketing as much as you'd like to try and as much as you'd like to think about you know like i'm so good at facebook ads or i'm so good at adwords you have to get the offer down and you have to match it with the right market so that takes testing and if it's not proven you got to set those expectations okay so, okay, I just was looking at a message here. I'm gonna jump on the live stream in just a second. I think it's gonna go out pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna time lapse the live stream. So here, and I'm publishing a podcast episode. I'm gonna record a new podcast episode, get my slide deck ready for Thursday, and promote to sell my book. So I wanna sell a bunch and um, hopefully, hopefully do some good stuff here. All right. We'll tell you how it goes in just a second. All right, so I'm all squared away from my live stream right now. I've just got the little switcher studio going. I uh, have it on my iPad right there. Is my switcher controller. I'm doing a screen share on my desktop, and then I have two camera angles that I'm going to be switching between. That is cool. I'm super excited about just selling my book and uh how cool it's going so i'm i'm thinking it's gonna work out really well the rest of the day is gonna be writing email campaigns and doing ads after this so today it was super interesting um my facebook account was not working i wasn't able to log in on desktop which was super problematic for <laughs> running ads um but i was able to use my app so and then when i did get access again it was showing no comments and it just was really weird. So that was kind of strange. Um, it's 2.23 right now. My live stream is at 2.45. I'm going to make some uh, ad campaigns really quick here before we get started and just get going. So that's it right now. Uh, looking forward to this live stream right now. Okay, so we have four minutes going on. And I'm going to show you really quick. Sorry, I was so zoomed in there. This is my switcher. I have three different camera angles. So we can do pow 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 share the screen all that good stuff and make lower thirds and all kinds of cool things so pretty solid and looking forward to this i'm going to tell you how it goes okay so um was really good live stream and i published the video to my youtube channel and uh got registrations live hopefully get sales live the way that reporting works on amazon is kind of weird you don't really know until they actually print and ship and that depends on the fulfillment center so that's kind of weird um started another amazon campaign and just working away so um well actually it's about 4 30 we're gonna go for a little walk here and then uh probably get a little bit more work done tonight but um it's gonna do it for today i'm gonna go hang out with the family now
Thanks, this is funny. This will be funny.